Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's learn why is DevOps a thing in 2024 and going ahead. Of late, you might have seen a lot of people learning DevOps, practicing DevOps and even transitioning into DevOps. For example, you might have seen lot of quality engineers, that is QE engineers, learning DevOps. People in the non-IT stream, they want to get into the IT stream through DevOps. And even developers are also learning DevOps. But the big question is why? Why is everyone looking at DevOps? I have 10 years of experience in IT. I have worked as a DevOps engineer. I work with DevOps engineers on a day-to-day -day basis. And in today's video, from all my experiences, I will try to explain as detailed as possible why DevOps has a bright future. So please try to watch this video till the end. To make it simple, let me split software development life cycle into two parts. Any company, whether it is a mobile application company or it can be a desktop app or a web application, the software development life cycle can be broadly split into two categories. One is the application development. Second is the application delivery. So in the application development, you have things like requirement gathering, you have the design of the application. It can be high level design and the low level design and implementation of the design. And in the app delivery, you have things like continuous testing of the application. Then you have deployment of the application and once deployed monitoring of the application. So I have broadly categorized software development lifecycle into two parts. Now over the years there has been significant improvement in this particular phase that is the app development phase because there are a lot of developer productivity tools and there are new developer productivity tools that are coming on the day-to-day -day basis. Recently, I have made a video on pieces for developers. In the past, we talked about GitHub Copilot. So all of these things along with the plugins and wonderful extensions in the IDE has made app development very efficient. Previously, if a team of three developers were able to write the basic form of application, let's say in three months. Now the same three developers can write that in one and a half months or let's say two months. So there is a level of productivity that is achieved by the organizations in this phase. However, this particular phase has been neglected. For example, if you look at DevOps, which is typically implementing the app delivery section, you will not believe me when I say it, a lot of companies even today do not have a DevOps culture in place. They still ask their developers or the QA engineers to take care of DevOps related activities. Of course, they can take care. A developer can write an application and can also work on the deployment of the application, but they will not be as capable as a regular DevOps engineer, or they will not be as efficient as a regular DevOps engineer. So because of which, even though there is a significant enhancement and improvement in the app delivery phase, it is worth nothing 
until you can ship your application at the same pace for example if you write a feature as a developer let's say you wrote a feature in two weeks if you cannot continuously ship features at the speed of two weeks then it is worth nothing because your customers are not receiving the feature in two weeks time let's say ios wants to release a new feature every two weeks and if the developers of the ios are using the ai extensions plugins and they are writing the new feature in two weeks but if they don't have a proper devops culture in place then there is no way they can ship this application in two weeks so the application might be shipped after two weeks because all of these activities are performed manually so overall it becomes four weeks to reach the customer so the two weeks delay is introduced because of the manual effort in the app delivery phase because the app delivery phase has a lot of things right so it includes continuous integration and continuous delivery infrastructure automation using infrastructure as code monitoring the application shipping the application through various environments like unit environment staging environment pre production and production so now every organization wants to automate this phase as well in future if companies want to target their customers by releasing new versions of the application by fixing the bugs in the application they cannot only focus on the app development section but they should also focus on the app delivery section so that's why every organization is looking at devops in 2024 and there are more number of job posts that are identified in the field of devops and they are also very highly paid now some people might say but abhishek i am not finding the jobs why am i not finding the jobs now that is another reason jobs have increased but number of people have also increased previously the exposure to devops was very little it was mostly build and release engineers who were looking at the devops jobs but now you have qa engineers trying to get into devops you have some developers who are trying to get into the devops jobs and people in non it people or different streams trying to get into devops so because of more competition even though the jobs have gone high the competition has also gone high that's why sometimes your profile might not be shortlisted you might not be called for an interview but if you try to go with a proper strategy if you have a proper road map then it should not bother you you still can get a job in the devops field now this is not only restricted to the devops but even if you look at machine learning workloads the same applies to ml ops as well if you have a company that is working on the ml models it is very very important for the organization in 2024 to ship their models to the customers continuously and to do that they need to have ml ops in place they need to have their data pipelines they need to have the machine learning pipelines and they need to incorporate devops culture into their ml workflow this is where you might have seen lot of people also talking about ml ops in 2024 because end of the day the model has to be delivered to the customers as well previously when ml ops did not exist almost 90% of the machine learning models did not reach the customers there are other reasons as well but having a ml ops culture in the organization can reduce this number 
quite significantly right so devops exists in 2024 in various forms it can be devops it can be sre or if you're working in a machine learning organization company that is developing ml models even i would like to say MLOps is just an extension of DevOps. You just need to understand machine learning workflow better. You need to have an idea of how a ML application is developed or ML model is developed. I should say that, right? So if you learn DevOps in 2024, I believe you will have a bright future considering the amount of focus that is put on the app delivery by the organizations. I have also seen DevOps engineers are quite highly paid in 2024. At times, they are paid more than full stack developers. So this is what I wanted to explain. Why is DevOps a thing in 2024? It can be because of the app delivery, which includes continuous integration and delivery. It can be because of automation in the cloud space it can be because organizations want to reduce their cloud cost significantly companies are spending thousands of dollars on the cloud platforms and it can be reduced significantly if i have a cloud engineer or if they have a devops engineer so because of all of these reasons devops is doing very well in 2024. And if you want to get into DevOps, please go with a proper roadmap. I will put a roadmap link in the description. You can follow that and learn DevOps for completely free. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.